Bluebeam Review is a dynamic cloud-based PDF markup and editing software. It enables better efficiency, collaboration, and cost savings for the delivery of infrastructure projects. Bluebeam is similar to Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Reader, but it is more geared towards architects, engineers, and contractors. And it's been implemented by various DOTs across the country for digital plan set reviews in various phases of projects. Studio Session is Bluebeam's real-time collaboration platform. It allows up to 500 reviewers to mark up the same document at the same time. And it's really well suited for milestone submission reviews on multidiscipline projects so that project managers can track all comments in one shared file. Bluebeam has a wide range of capabilities. We're not gonna have to cover all of them for what we need from it. So for plan reviews in this session one, we're gonna cover the interface and navigation and how to customize it. And we'll discuss markup tools and tool chests for creating digital markups. And then we'll talk a little bit about working with measurements as Bluebeam allows for precise measuring, um, whereas something like Adobe does not. For module two, we'll dive in a little deeper into the comment resolution process, uh, which will be the primary concern for project managers and LPAs as they resolve comments. And that'll be mostly housed in the markups list and the studio workflows. So these, these other um, capabilities of Bluebeam, we won't necessarily cover, um, but if, if there are any questions on those, of course, uh, myself and Veronica would be available. A bit about the plan set review process for, especially for larger projects, it will involve multiple disciplines, uh, subject matter experts providing comments on the submitted plans. The ultimate goal is getting any of the needed changes incorporated before the project is submitted in its final state. So for local aid, this would typically mean reviewing a preliminary PSNE submission so that the comments can be incorporated for the final PSNE submission. Very large projects may involve multiple reviewers from each discipline, may involve multiple agencies, multiple LPAs, consultants, subconsultants, and Bluebeam uh, caters to that. So Bluebeam Studio Sessions will be officially rolled out for uh, local aid bridge projects starting this year. And otherwise, other projects, it'll be up to the PM's discretion when to use it. And I, I think it's going to be useful enough that you'll implement it uh, pretty regularly. What we'll cover today can be used in that official capacity or it can be adapted to fit any daily collaboration needs for any type of PDF markups uh, that are needed. Again, the ultimate goal is to get comments from a preliminary submission incorporated when the LPA submits the final submission. So it starts out when they uh, upload that first milestone submission to PMRS. The project manager will then initiate the studio session review, notify the relevant SME reviewers. Um, following that, the SMEs will log into that studio session and perform their review, leave their comments. They may receive notifications regarding the time frame that they can complete the review, something like two weeks, one month. From there, the project manager can either extend the session or finish the session and export the marked up document back to PMRS. They'll transmit those plans over to the LPA and they will receive the plan set markups and start the comment resolution process by either implementing the changes that they agree with or identifying the comments that require a discussion. The NJDOT and LPA will then have those discussions and resolve any of the outstanding comments. 
when all changes are resolved and agreed to, the LPA will incorporate those changes and submit the final plans. The very last step will be NJDOT going through those final plans and just confirming that all the comments have been incorporated. That would be the back check. Then hopefully the project will go to construction with that, with that final plan set. There's a lot of benefits of using Bluebeam Studio reviews for this process. Um, summarized here in that little triangle. For comment integrity, the comments can only be edited by the original author and all the markups are held in one centralized document, meaning the markups you make cannot be adjusted by someone else or saved in another file and possibly lost. For the timely review process, when you're using one central file that allows multiple reviewers in it at once, you reduce the burden on the PM to compile and summarize comments from multiple reviewers or multiple documents. And then for transitioning from paper, you're saving a lot of time in the printing, the paper distribution uh, that comes with those hard copy reviews. The real-time collaboration means these real-time markups allow for a better interaction between reviewers, between project managers and external stakeholders. It allows you to track who is reviewing, who is finished, and who might be waiting for someone else. And then the easy access studio sessions, you know, allow the best access to the files. Nobody's waiting in line to check out a document to add their markups. They're not waiting for anyone else. It's all right through PMRS and you're joining that shared file that gives everyone uh, the same access at all times. I'll be getting into a live demonstration in the program, but this is what the uh, Bluebeam program looks like. It's really customizable, so this may not be uh, what we ultimately see, but uh, for whatever your needs might be in a review, uh, you'll be able to adjust that program um, to set it up the way you want, very customizable. And then of course, Bluebeam Studios or Studio Sessions are seamlessly integrated into PMRS. So it will, be, it will be easy to move from PMRS to that Bluebeam platform and vice versa. Uh, for federal projects, the plan review will occur outside of the PMRS platform but we'll have the same benefits of using Bluebeam, and we will actually get into that further in uh, module two.